Hi, I'm Josh Lambert, a product director here at GitLab, and I'd like to talk about what we are working on in our distribution team for the 13.8 release. 13.8 will be available on January 22nd of 2021. This is our scheduling issue where we collaborate amongst the team on um, what we're trying to achieve. And I'd like to go through the big items that we're working on here for our product priorities. Um, we are working, of course, also a few things around bugs and a couple other minor fixes, but these are the big ones that we'd like to highlight here for this release. Um, the first one, of course, is that we'll address anything that does happen to carry over, and we'll talk a bit, a bit about that uh, in particular in OpenShift here. Um, but we're also working on some features that our production team, the team who runs GitLab.com, have requested. Uh, GitLab.com is running more and more based on the GitLab Helm chart, which uh, a number of our customers also utilize. And so they are finding improvements and other uh, enhancements that they're looking for. Uh, in particular, in this one, uh, they would like to be able to further label all parts of the Kubernetes objects that the Helm chart creates. And so you can see here, we're actually looking for a common set of labels that we can use to further identify uh, the GitLab server compared to all the rest of the uh, objects within the Kubernetes cluster. Um, so we are working on making that easier. We will still maintain support for the specific labels on particular deployments for things like Sidekick, the web service, and things like that. But we'll make it easier to go ahead and add these labels. And this will also make things easier for um, metric collection and log differentiation and other types of filtering that you're looking for based on labels. Um, from there, we're also continuing our work on OpenShift. We have made good progress in the 13.7 milestone for OpenShift. Uh, we have actually gone through and made progress on the image submission. Uh, so we built a CI pipeline that can go ahead and do that. And we have one image all the way through the pipeline with minimal changes required. Um, so we'll go through and continue to uh, add the CI instrumentation and changes required for the other images as well. There are quite a number of them as folks who are using our Helm chart are aware. And so we'll work, be working through that in 13 that eight, and we'll also be working through finishing up utilizing GitLab shell as the basis for our Helm chart based operator. Um, so if you uh, look, listen to our 13.7 kickoff video, uh, you saw that we were focused on this particular issue. This is largely complete here. Um, so we've actually merged the underlying foundational components for using a Helm chart inside of what's called the reconcile loop for an operator. This is the loop that sort of looks at what's in the Kubernetes uh, namespace and compares that to what should be there. Um, and uh, we actually have a lot of that merged. And so what we're doing now is we're going through and finishing up GitLab shell, which is the first chart based on that underlying foundation. And that will hopefully merge here in the next few days uh, within 13.8. And we'll then go through and take that same foundation and replicate that logic across all of the rest of the Helm charts within the Helm chart. And once we have that done, combined with the image certification, we will have our first beta version of our operator, which is really exciting. Um, so if all goes well, we might just be able to get this done in January, which would be very exciting. From there, we're also working to finish up the work required to support GitLab pages on our Helm chart. This is one of the last remaining feature gaps between Omnibus and the true cloud native installation of GitLab. And we are very, very close to addressing it, which is very exciting. This is a popular feature for a lot of our customers. And um, this is also based on a lot of great work that the pages team did in making the pages service not dependent upon shared storage. And so we actually have the container image built as part of our last release. And we will now be going ahead and building up the chart to utilize that container. Uh, we're also working to roll out structured logging across all of our components. Um, right now, uh, they essentially uh, have uh, like a tail type system where we're looking across multiple uh, logging files. And so you kind of get these breaks in between the common logging system with based on what uh, log files been written to at a given time. And we'd like to instead convert that to a structured logging system where we can 
have a common log output that is structured and don't have to have these kind of breaks and make it easier for our customers to parse. Um, this is also a production request as well, um, but it'll also help, of course, also with our larger deployments of customers out there with the GitLab Helm chart. Finally, we're also working on uh, adding a survey link to the package upgrade output. In 13.7, we have introduced a survey link to allow users to pass us feedback on how the installation experience went. You can see here a brief little blurb along with a survey link. It's like a couple of questions long, pretty, pretty low effort. Um, so please pass us back that information. And in 13.8, we are carrying this forward and we will also allow users to let us know how we did um, an upgrade. Um, if it was easy, if it was hard, if something broke, we would love to know, let us know through the survey link and we can make our upgrade and, and installation process better going forward. Um, the last I don't talk about here is we're also working to address some of the minor FIPS issues that we are seeing on some of the more recent versions of GitLab. And so we are looking to hopefully address this in 13.8 to let folks hopefully utilize and install GitLab on FIPS enabled systems in this release. So thank you very much. Those are the big items that we're working on in 13.8. We're also working on a large amount of other features as well. You can check that out in the deliverable board, things like bug fixes and things like that. So check it out. Um, if you have any questions, you can know where to find us on these issues and we'll talk to you next month for 13.9. Thank you.